All right, we're here in Jacksonville, Florida for our final door knock, the sixth and final door knock. It's a lot warmer here today than it was this morning in Racine, Wisconsin. And to help me with this final door knock, to welcome in the class of 2022 Hall of Famer Anthony Munoz. Anthony, this is a big one here. Yeah, he is a big one. <laughs> He's a very big one. I tell you what, I'm over the top thrilled to be able to uh, knock on the door and uh, welcome Tony Baselli into this uh, amazing fraternity. So Anthony, we've known for the past few years, you know, Tony's been a finalist and not gotten in. You've seen him, I've seen him okay. afterwards. I mean, he, would, he was crushed, he would be crushed. What do you think this is gonna to mean to him to finally get this? You know, I've known Tony for a long time. I've seen him as a finalist at Super Bowl, you know, every year the last you know, number of years. Uh, you know, I, this is gonna be amazing. I, I, I'm excited to see his reaction because like I said, I've seen him after the knock and him not getting in and it's, you know, he's, he's been upbeat, but you can tell it, it's crushed him. So I know this is gonna just take off the other way and just be so excited. SC, but now we can say we're teammates forever. I love it. I do too. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. No, you deserve it. Thank you. I'm gonna kill you. Are you no? Are you? and a privilege to have you join our team of Hall of Famers as a class of 2022. You know what? Uh, this is the sixth year and you know every year you sit, you know, besides last year and this year, you sit in that hotel room, you wait, and you're hoping for a knock and you get the phone call saying you're not in and you're like, okay, well maybe next year. And everyone else is crying and I'm sitting there going, uh, who's supposed to be sad here? <laughs> And I'll be honest with you, if I could, uh, I wouldn't trade it, the pro how this works, because there's no one else I'd rather knock on the door than the guy I looked up to and who I think is the greatest to ever play the game at, his, at the position I played. We went to school together, and uh, like, I remember when people used to compare me to him, and I'm like, well, that's nice, but I think he's better than I am. <laughs> uh, and so, um, you know, the, my, Steve, my only regret is, you know, my dad passed away uh, last year, so I was really hoping last year would have been so I, he could have done it, uh, been a part of it, um, but I know he's uh, in heaven, watching down, smiling right now. So that'd be my only regret. Other than that, I wouldn't change anything. The fact that I will be included <laughs> with guys like Anthony Munoz and the other greats who ever played this game is unreal. Because since I can remember, all I ever want to do is play football. And I love the game. I still love the game. It's given me more than I could ever give it. And to be a part of the history for uh, for all eternity, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and when you think about it, when this class is announced, 362 out of the tens of thousands of people who have played and coached this game, you want a 362. I mean, I know you study this game, you broadcast this game, but that's the rarest of air to possibly breathe, Tony. And I'll be honest with you, I mean, this is, was never in my dream, if I'm being honest. I mean, I just remember I wanted to play high school football and started in high school. 
I wasn't a highly recruited guy. I think the good Lord that USC saw something and I got to go play for, in my opinion, the greatest place to play college football. And I was just happy to be there. And then you get to go play in the NFL. I'm like, first round pick, you kidding me? I mean, we could <laughs> dream of anything better. And then your career goes on. And I'll be honest with you, Steve, I never thought about the Hall of Fame playing. Um, but I remember when my career was over and because of the injury, it hit me, I'm like, huh, I wonder if I'll ever have the opportunity to be included um, with those guys. Because those are the guys I grew up watching. And I love, I mean, I love it. You can ask anyone, my mom, my stepmom, yeah. but they know, I mean. Since he was two and could talk. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Football. Yeah, <laughs> and so to be a part of that now is, uh, is surreal. Hey. Hey. Nice to meet you too. It's another honor to welcome you to Canton <laughs> and the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you so much. You said something that's, uh, I think, you know, what, I've always thought about it if this would have happened. Um, I think one of the coolest things for me is, is for these guys. Um, because every, <laughs> I remember a couple years ago we were in Miami and uh, everyone, all of them were crying and upset and, and I thought, you know what, it'd be cool for me to get in, no doubt about it, um, but for my kids and my wife and mom, stepmom, Angie's parents, uh, and then also, you know, for the Jaguars, you know. First Jag ever. Yeah. 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 It's been uh, tough sledding a little bit lately. <laughs> Jaguars need a little optimism. And so, uh, to represent the fan base and the organization and the, and the Khan family uh, and uh, all my guys, I, all the teammates I played with is, it's, uh, it's remarkable. <laughs> I want to make a toast to uh, this moment, uh, to my entire family who's here. And, very, very, very close friends, the Murphys. Um, Anthony, couldn't have chosen the name one better than I told you earlier. Jim, thank you to the Hall of Fame. Um, it has not hit me still. It's good to sit here. And uh, I think being one of 362 of a game that I love, I mean, it's the greatest game ever invented. I think it has taught me more about how to live even off the field than on the field. Um, and to be a part of that, that group is, I, I don't have words for it. So to that, um, 2022 is, good, is a good year, it's a good year already. And, uh, thanks for welcoming me to the family. Welcome.